three months in the make game. 3,119 kills with 30 diamonds, 17 trolls, and 16 rares. It has all led up to a moment that I've been waiting for since Thunder Baton came out. Of course, that moment to take out the one and only Great One Tar. That has seemed to elude us for a while, but now that day has finally come. What is up guys, it's Tyron Karma. Welcome back to the channel. And I apologize for the long wait in videos, but I am back. I just had to focus on IRL stuff and focus on myself too. But of course, as you can tell, I am back and I finally got the Great One Tar. After three months of on and off grinding, I finally got it. And thank goodness, just in time for the new scope pack to come out. Well, it's not gonna be for another week at the time I'm making this video, but still. Thank goodness. I was really starting to lose interest in grinding tar because I've gotten so burnt out on Call of the Wild to be honest. It got to the point where I was playing my childhood game Zoo Tycoon again. But I came back one day and it was worth it. So guys, this is what happened. I was continuing to t grind tar the other day. And I ended up taking a shot at this one level 4. However, after I shoot him, I noticed something out of the corner of my eye that was white. And it was moving. I was like, wait, what was that? And this is when I decided to go down to see if I wasn't dreaming. I was thinking to myself, is this the Great One Tar that we have been after for a while now? So then I get down there looking for the tracks and, oh uh, well, this happened. Oh my gosh. Yes! 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 Great Wattar! Finally! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! That's a Great one track! Finally! Oh my gosh! Great Wattar! It finally happened! Oh! Yes! Yes! Woo! Great Wattar, baby! I knew that tour didn't look normal! Oh! Oh. oh! Oh my gosh! 3,118 kills later, he finally shows up! Oh, it finally happened! It finally happened! Oh! Oh my gosh! I'm shaking! Oh my gosh, I'm shaking! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we gotta pick up the track. 15, 115 of 147. That's the smaller great one track, but that's a, that is the great one track. We finally have a great one tar. Oh my gosh. So, as you can tell by that reaction, I was pretty pumped. We did get the 115 to 147 KD track for the great one tar, but it's still a great one tar regardless. So, I decided not to take a Texas heart shot on this guy. And I made a poll a while ago asking what weapon people would want to see me take it out with. And the results were the 243 with soft points in the starter scope. But instead of using the rifle, I decided to have a bit of a challenge and I decided to use the 243 handgun instead. So after it spooked off, it didn't come back to its zone. I tried changing the time, but they were being a bit stubborn. Well, if these guys are going to take some time to get back on their zones, I'm going to... I'm gonna let them have it. I'm gonna see if I have a tiger in any of these lakes in the meantime. Gotcha, bitch! Well, I guess the tiger found me before I found it. And that sucks. So, yeah. After getting mauled by that tiger, I decided to go back up. And that's what I spotted him. I see him. I see him. Ten fabled. Oh my gosh. We finally got him. Oh my gosh, it finally happened. Oh, it's the... Ah, it's the half. Not really the one I wanted, but... I ain't complaining. We finally got a great one tar, and that's all that matters to me right now. So, I was a little worried about taking it from a distance because I wasn't sure how much penetration I was going to get with the 243. 
considering the fact I was using soft points. So I decided to get in within 70 meters. I ended up getting in, getting I ended up getting in within 50. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you enjoy the footage of me stalking him and shooting him. Thank goodness the wind is going opposite of him, because then I'll have a chance to get a decent shot on him. Look at that. Look at that. If I had the Rhino, I would have taken a Texas hard shot, but nope. I asked, you guys wanted to see me take it with a 243 with the start scope and soft points. And I'm delivering in a way. Alright, I'm gonna get down a little bit. Try to get in within 70 meters. I feel like I feel comfortable within that range. Oh, shit. Finally got him. Oh my gosh. That's his vital blood. Oh my gosh. It's finally over. Oh. There he is. He died. Terribly for a screenshot, but whatever. I disabled everything so I could get a screenshot with him on the ground, even though my hands were in the way, but whatever. Right, here we go. Feels so good to hear that. We just barely nipped that long. Whew. Finally happened. All right, we got a taxi him. Thank goodness this grind is finally over. I was starting to wonder if this guy was ever going to show up. And today was the day. Fabled half. So this grind finally comes to an end. At 3,119 kills. 30 diamonds. 17 trolls. And 16 rares. Even though I didn't get one of my top three favorite fur types, which were Skull, Latte, and Snow, 
and even though I'm not the biggest fan of the fabled half fur type, I am still happy to finally end this grind once and for all. Now, we gotta get this guy into the lodge. So considering the tar can fit on these smaller platforms, along with the snow leopards, foxes, coyotes, and all that, I decided to put this guy onto one of these platforms in this room here. And in all honesty, I think he looks really good on this plaque. And so with this grind coming to a close, I'm probably not going to be grinding tar for a while, considering this guy was a pain in the butt to get. I'll probably return to it at some point, but I'm probably going to focus a little on Tibetan Fox to try to get a diamond of one of those guys. I'm also planning on focusing on Moose, Black Bear, and Fallow. Maybe I'll do a little bit of tar, but 9 out of 10, I probably won't be doing a lot of tar grinding for a while, just because... I just gotten so burnt out with this. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace!